Hello, my name is Jake Schumann and welcome to my brand. So a little bit about myself. I am 21. I am a junior here at Duke University. Uh, I'm from Needham, Massachusetts, which is a suburb just outside of Boston. So go Pats. Um, so for my brand, um, I'm going to take you a little bit through it and I'm going to talk about um, the things that are important to me, which are passion, loyalty, family, teamwork and respect and those are important to me and I'll tell you why and maybe share a couple stories along the way and then at the end I'm going to show you some videos that are about um, my strengths and weaknesses but in the eyes of the people that are closest to me so welcome to my brand hope you enjoy So the first part of my brand um, is family. And I've chose family to be the first part that I'm gonna be telling you about is because I think it's the most important. Uh, my family here, I have uh, my parents. Uh, my older sister is four years older, who's living in Austin, Texas now. And my twin sister, actually, who's a junior at Washington University in St. Louis. Uh, I chose family first because they're the ones who have developed me the most and, and made me who I am. Um, as much as I either like it or I don't. Um, I love my family and they are the ones that have, you know, raised me. And they have so much to do with, with my life and, you know, the decisions I make and, and who I go to to make decisions. Um, I believe they're the most important people in my life. And they have done so much for me. And I can't tell them enough and I don't tell them enough how much they have done for me. Um, but I, being here now at Duke uh, on the men's golf team took a lot of time and effort and um, sacrifices for my family for me to get here. And that being said, uh, my parents and my, and my sisters didn't have to drive me or, or pick me up from, from the golf course at 7 a.m. or 7 p.m. Um, on any given day growing up. So they've done a lot for me to get here. Uh, my sisters are both uh, very smart people. They helped me along the way. Um, they were my uh, free tutors in the house that helped me uh, get to the academic level that I'm at to this point. And so family really is important to me. Uh, I think it's, it's something that you can't take for granted and it's something that makes you who you are. So family's there for me. So one of the most important parts of my brand, I believe to be, is loyalty. Um, growing up, I had one best friend that stuck by me with everything that I really did. Uh, Colin and I today aren't the best of friends, but growing up, I mean, we did everything together. So at a young age, um, something my parents also taught me was loyalty. So Colin and I doing everything together growing up, um, it was a big uh, point in my life that Looking back on it now, it taught me a lot about um, being truthful and being uh, loyal to someone just because you can go through a lot with life and friends come and go. It's just the way that life is that um, whether you're on a sports team and you have coaches come and go, players come and go, uh, working for a company, people will be fired, people will be new hires. Um, so being able to be loyal to people who are really important to you is something that I really cherish because um, I feel like if you're loyal to someone and they're loyal to you, you can really build a deeper relationship with them and it you know, creates trust and um, passion and everything you know, good in a relationship will come from loyalty and working together and being able to trust each other. And here we have a picture of um, Colin. Um, I'm here, uh, this is my dad, this is Colin's dad and um, so Colin and I being so close, um, so one of the hardest things I had to do growing up was his dad got cancer when we were in third grade and um, being in third grade it's, you don't realize how uh, crucial that is to someone's life and how, uh, how much that can change um, not just your life but especially your friend's life. Um, so watch his dad unfortunately it took two years and he passed away um, and this was right during the uh, peak of Lance Armstrong with his lip strong and so as you see here today, um, Colin gave this to me in third grade. I have not taken it off since. Uh, the only couple times were when I played basketball and you had to take off jewelry. Um, so although Colin and I aren't talking on a daily basis, this is just something that I, you know, I believe in the message, not of, of Lance Armstrong and what he did in cycling, but um, you know, I, this is a, a symbol of friendship and loyalty for me.
So the next part of my brand is teamwork. Uh, I believe teamwork is really important. Uh, it's something that being on the golf team is, is maybe hard for some people to understand why it's important to me because golf is an individual sport. Um, but at the end of the day, I've been on basketball teams, baseball teams, soccer teams, uh, football teams that all um, have taught me to work together and work with other people. Um, growing up, uh, being a twin, everything I kind of did was with somebody else, with my sister, because um, no matter who you meet, it's, um, oh my God, you're a twin, you have, you know, it's another half of me. Um, we aren't you know, Siamese twins where we're next to each other all the time, but I have you know another a teammate in life just because of having a twin and, and always being associated with uh, having a sister. And um, I think working with other people is, is a, you know, one of the most important characteristics that you can have. Uh, I don't think anything is done really alone in life or nothing easy is done alone. So um, you know, two minds is better than one, three minds is better than two. Uh, so I think that being able to work with other people um, has been very important to me. Golf especially has been something that's unique because it, being an individual sport, um, you don't need, you know, you know, you don't practice with other people. Um, but at the end of the day, you rely on everybody else on your team to win because you have to win together. And so here um, I have a picture of my teammates. Um, and it's been something really uh, interesting for me is to learn that um, and how to push each other because we're fighting against each other on a daily basis to see who travels. Um, so I want to go to every tournament, but everybody else on, on the team wants to go to every tournament. So when, when we're leaving seven guys behind and only five guys are traveling, it's tough to want to help each other get better. But um, as I've matured and, and really put the team ahead of myself and my own goals, I've learned to, uh, and we've all learned as a team, to push each other because as long as we're pushing each other, we're getting better collectively. And as long as you put the team, team first, you're going to do good things. So that's why teamwork is important to me. So the next part of my brand is passion and I think passion is so vitally important to me in my life because it's driven me to where I am today. Um, golf is one of the biggest and most important passions I have in my life. Um, not just golf, it's competition and the ability to get better and the drive to get better. Uh, it's a sport that I chose when I was younger because it was unique. It's um, something that growing up was not uh, very popular I mean, young, among young kids. Um, and I really enjoyed it and I got good at it pretty quickly and it was easy to pick. Uh, but to this day, there's always somebody out there that's better. There's always somebody better, stronger, faster, better looking, etc. Uh, so when I when I got to Duke, um, throughout high school, I was always you know, the best player around, but you get to Duke and you surround yourself with people who are better uh, athletically in the classroom, et cetera. They're doing more than you are, uh, extracurriculars, um, all the above. So I think that when you surround yourself and have a passion for something, it's gonna, it's gonna push you to be better and to do better things. So when I got to Duke, um, I, saw my, I all of a sudden was not the best person on the team. And that's pushed me in that, that passion to get better and to do uh, the best golfer I can be, the best uh, student I can be. Um, it's really been something that drives me day in and day out. And something that our athletic trainer here at Duke says to us every single day when we go to work out um, is uh, a day wa um, an opportunity wasted is a day wasted. And so when you know when we wake up and we're out there at 6:30 in the morning, it may it may really suck. Um, it's early. Uh, none of us want to be up that early. But when I really take that to heart, um, at first you know the first first year year and a half, I you know I didn't take that to heart. And now I I, I believe in it. I've bought into it, and I believe that um, every opportunity you have is an opportunity to make yourself better. And you know it's, when you get better, the people around you get better. And um, so I think passion is, is really important to me and the ability to get better, drive to get better um, is what I believe to be uh, part of my brand in my everyday life. 
So to continue with that, um, this picture here was um, is the first time I have ever been on uh, on TV for golf uh, and TV in general. Um, and this is important to me because that just you know it gave me the itch and uh, it drives and fuels that passion for to get better and to be the best golfer I can be um, even more. So seeing this is um, it's humbling for me. Um, you know I want to get better. I want this to be every single Sunday. When everybody's watching on PGA Tour on TV, uh, as opposed to just you know this blue one-time event, so that's why passion for me is part of my brand. You know, I'm passionate about other things. I I love. Uh um, another element of my brand is respect, and I think respect and 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 fairness kind of go together for me. Um, I think that you know not everybody is treated with respect but in my opinion you have to treat everyone with respect everyone doesn't matter uh, you don't know what they're going through somebody's day is always worse than yours and no matter what you're going through I think it's important that you treat people with respect and fairness and treat them equally um, so something that taught me when I was young about um, treating people equally and fairly was when I was 10 years old I was playing in my first ever uh, big golf tournament um, and you know for me when I was 10 years old this this felt like the world uh, I felt like I was playing in the Masters and um, in the middle of the round this kid asked me to move my ball mark which is which is very fair to ask for um, and then I forgot to move it back and my dad was caddying for me I was 10 years old my dad was there um, we both forgot we were in the moment the first time playing in something like this and the second I went, I put my ball back down, I didn't move the ball mark back. And the second I hit the putt, this 10 year old kid, as well as his dad said, you didn't move it back, that's a two stroke penalty. So talk about something that I'll never forget. I immediately went into tears. My dad almost went into tears. He was just uh, uh, so taken back that uh, a kid, a ten-year-old kid, and his father would um, try to get advantage, take advantage of me for not knowing the rules or forgetting, or for just being a ten-year-old. That I will never forget that name. I won't mention that name, just you know, in case anybody knows them. But it's something I'll never forget. And to this day, um, I, I I know that that was the first point in my life where I really um, uh, was taken back by um, people who take advantage of you. And that you need to, you know, as it doesn't matter what people do to you, but if you treat people with respect, uh, you'll gain their trust, and uh, they will they'll treat you back properly. And so, so I believe that you know you treat people well, and that good things will happen to you. So that's why. So these were all parts of my brand. Um, I think they're all very core um, parts of who I am and what I strive to be. But um, something that I, I also look at on a, on a fairly regular basis is what I do well, but also what I don't do well. So that being said, I'm gonna show a couple of videos from people who are the closest to me, um, who know me best, and they're gonna say a little bit about who, what they think are my strengths, but also I wanted them to tell me what uh, are my weaknesses, so that way I can work on them. And so before I tell you, before you hear from them, uh, I'll tell you what I think I need to work on, which is um, at times I'm, I'm almost too focused. Um, once I once I put my mind to something, uh, I won't be done with it until that's that's accomplished, and so that can. Uh, narrow my focus a little bit too much and I can I can not plan well for the future just because I'm so um, narrow-minded at times and also I would say um, I can put things off um, if I don't want to do them I only pick things sometimes that I want to do versus um, maybe taking the, the harder the harder right versus the easier wrong I'd say um, at times I do the right thing and, and I take the, the harder route but um, I also um, at times, we'll definitely um, admit to taking the easier wrong. Um, so those are a couple things. Um, hope you uh, enjoyed my brand and that you take something away from it that um, hopefully you didn't know before about me. Thanks.
Jake and his strengths, I think of someone who is highly motivated and willing to really put the hard work in for something that he wants. Um, he has a relentless um, ability to focus on something he wants and never give up until he gets what he wants. Um, I also think that Jake. Okay. So um, on the does well side, um, I, I think that Jake is an incredibly loyal person to his friends, to his family, to uh, his teammates. Um, and I think that's a very, very uh, important attribute. Um, he has a very strong sense of what's right and what's wrong and um, really is uh, you know, very conscientious about that and when it comes to himself and, and other people. Uh, he's very committed and very dedicated to anything that he does. Uh, comes out certainly in his golf, but uh, whether it's schoolwork or other things, uh, um, there's relationships. It's, that's all very important to him, as well as Jake is a, a very has always been very mature for his age, has had the ability to speak with and deal with the older people, um, even when he was young. So, again, I think that's an attribute that will uh, carry him well into the future on the. Your sense of fairness is in ways both a double-edged sword. On the one hand, you really believe in being fair to everyone. And on the other hand, that sometimes drives you to get very judgmental when something isn't fair. So that's my... Opportunities to improve side. Um, Jake isn't the most organized person in the world. Um, it can uh, it can sometimes hold him back um, because he doesn't always remember things. Or so I hope you enjoyed my brand. I think it's important that I included other people's opinions who are close to me just because, um, you know, everybody has a different perspective. So, and I'm always going to, you know, see myself in the best light. So that being said, I think um, it's important to show that I have things to work on because nobody's perfect. So I uh, look forward to working on those and getting better and hopefully uh, keep, keep developing this brand and becoming a better person. Thanks.